Hey guys, so we're back and we're gonna talk about our work workplace setup. So of course, first thing that's closest to me are my safety goggles because you never know when some wire may decide to get a little crazy and get in your eyes and we do not want that. So very, very important to have on hand. Next up, right over here, I have a little plastic container. It's not filled with anything yet because I like to use these little guys as a trash collector. We're gonna have tiny little parts everywhere and you can just kind of scoop it up and put them in there and you can just forget about it and it'll help keep your workplace nice and clean. So you already learned about you already learned about tool magic here, and we still have these guys drying, but we're still gonna use this to display your pliers. I just find it's easier to just pick up and just start working. So next up, we have our beads here. We're only gonna use a couple for the projects we're going to be doing today. Uh, so I wanted to just kind of organize them even more so than in the container that they normally come in because I have cats at home and sometimes they get up on my workplace and the next thing you know there's beads everywhere on the carpet and it just becomes a whole mess. So I like to just make sure that I have just what we're going to use today and put the rest away so we don't have another bead explosion. We know one wants that. Up next we have some wire. And for our first project, we're going to be using a, quite a few strands of straight wire. So what I wanna do before we even get started on that project is I wanna make sure that we have all the wire we need ready to go. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just measure my wrist and see how long we're gonna need. I have kind of baby, tiny, tiny wrists. So I'm gonna actually leave a little bit of extra room it's not an exact science here. I'm just going to see maybe around right here where my hand is. I'm gonna cut it just to have extra room because you know you don't wanna recut anything. Having a little bit more slack than two less of slack is good. And I'm just gonna take your cutters right here. There we go. And like I said before, we're gonna use straight wire. So we kinda of need to make sure that this guy is gonna be as straight as possible. I'm just gonna run my hands to make sure it kind of gets straight, which may take a while, so just bear with it. You can use the edge of your table to help you out, smooth it. There's nothing fast about the wire making jewelry process, so don't try to rush it. You're gonna notice any kinks and bumps with your with your finished piece. So just take the time now to make sure that all these wires are completely straight. You also may have noticed that on my workspace, I'm working on a rubber mat. This is going to help make everything completely smooth, not porous, and I'm able to run my wire on here to make sure it's completely straight, straight and also won't scratch or mar up our wire in any way. So I highly recommend getting one of these lovely mats for this project and other crafting projects. Okay, so we have almost a pretty completely straight wire, except for the top right here. I also am going to do this about five or six more times. It really depends on the bracelet you wanna make, but um, you can figure that out as you go on and your taste level, whatever you wanna do. So I'm just gonna take our wire, kind of straighten out just a little bit, and then I'm just gonna measure it. Like I said, it's, if it's a little bit longer, that's better than cutting it too short. There you go. And just keep doing this process until you have five or six more strands. All right, so we have zoomed forward and I have about five or six of wire strands right here for you. And some of them actually have a little bit more kinks than I would like and I just couldn't get it out with my fingers. So I'm gonna take my flat nose flyer, plier right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and sandwich it between and just kind of bend it ever so slightly to just kind of get him on track. 
that just helps get out even more of the little kinks in our wire. Really subtly, I don't want to make any too big of adjustments here. It's okay if it has a slight curve to it because it is a bracelet. We're not making a completely straight piece of jewelry, but we do want it to have those little tiny bumps and kinks out of it. Next up, for two of our projects, we're going to be making rings. So I already told you how to find your ring size by using another ring. 